What's the guy's name from Willy Wonka? Sylvester Gloop? <laughs> uh, Gilvester? Dude, I know one person in that whole... It's something. And that's Willy. It's something. Oh, speaking of, did you see the British Willy Wonka experience? The ultimate Willy Wonka experience? No. Oh, my gosh. It sounds terrifying. It is. It was horrible. Apparently, there was okay, like Okay, can a we start the pod? Facebook ad. Kenzie, yeah, this is, hey, this Kenzie's is new we... to the format she doesn't understand anymore yeah this is how we get our uh our okay kev let's move on short kev let's move on good stuff yeah welcome (laughs) to the podcast (laughs) we have five very very strictly formatted topics for you step one what is cardboard made of (laughs) (laughs) hey everybody welcome to the board and scale podcast (laughs) Uh, where we bring you weekly news of very important things happening in the board game community. The board game. We talk about topics that are extremely relevant to the current times every single week. So make sure that you're here. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, watch as soon as the episode comes out. Confirm that I am not lying to you. And if I am. Because none of this will be true. And if I am, comment right now and call me a liar. Anyways, today, Dwayne is absent in her stead. Her stead. In his stead, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> we have Mackenzie back. Welcome Yay. back. Why did you call me Mackenzie? Round of applause. Sorry, everybody. This is my wife, Mackenzie. We've been together. <laughs> Why did f- you call me Mackenzie? We've been together for six long, long years. <laughs> We've been together for eight years, We've asshole. We've been together for eight long years. You know, and sometimes they just they have just flown by, which is probably why I said six. I love this. My love. This is this is one of my favorite things that, about coming here. At the end of that? Yeah, like this that the marital, it's, it's just it's 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 so entertaining. I love it. Is it? It is. It really I'm is. Glad it's entertaining for someone. Yeah, and just like every week, we're gonna jump into the weekly highlights and talk <laughs> about the games that we played that were really fun or entertaining <gasps> or whatever. Can I start? Uh, no, nope. Kenzie's nope. not starting because she's gonna steal mine. Denied. No, I want to talk about it. I I brought it up first. Okay, fine. Go ahead. Okay, so we finally played Heaven and Ale. It is one Not that finally. Finally. Again. Let, can I talk? Do you have it somewhere nearby? It's on, the, on stairs. the table. Fucking useless. Oh, yeah, it's on the stairs. I know, we suck. Right. We just played it. I have no idea what you're talking about. We didn't make about. it back up here. Explain it. Okay, so I don't know how to explain it. I'm not very good at that. Heaven hey. and Ale is Kenzie's weekly highlight, <laughs> and I'm going to mansplain it. To her, even though she just played it, <laughs> is that okay with you though? First, or are you gonna are you gonna try? I just want to talk about why it's one of the weekly highlights for me. Okay, go. Anyway, Heaven and Ill is one that we hadn't played in a really long time. I had been suggesting it for quite a while. Um, whenever somebody would be like, "Hey, let's play a game," and I would say Heaven and Ale, and they, our friends, hadn't played it yet, so they weren't super keen on playing it. So finally... For the record, you've never mentioned that game in my presence. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. I refuse to believe To be fair, have. she's hardly been in your presence in the past month or so. That's also true, but I mean, like, in the several months that I've known you, I've never I've never heard of this game. You're wrong. No, you've never mentioned it. I'm, I cannot wait to go find... You know what? It's, it's on the stairs. Yeah. Kev is, is on an adventure. Oh my gosh. He took all of his <laughs> I've never meds seen today. him get up so fast. I was gonna say he took all his meds today. No arthritis <laughs> in those bones right now. If it's not on the Okay. He found it. I didn't mean to <laughs> didn't mean to yell at you guys. Oh my goodness. I've never seen this game before in my life. It's actually a Michael Keesling game. I don't know who that is. You don't know anything lately. No, I actually do know the name because yeah. I... Because Ken's has brought it up before and you've said you didn't want to say it. I was going to say you I, just fucking threw me off because I don't No, know I had a either. coworker. Uh, her name was Keesling and I was like, I wonder if they're related. They're not. You know what's crazy? <laughs> Never seen this game in my entire life. My MTI was... His, his name was Keesling. Anyway. So. So. Sebastian saw it on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And finally was willing to play it with me after I've been mentioning it for months to him and our friends. <coughs> you hadn't. Yes, I have. Nope. You're such a liar. I am solely influenced by social media, which is why I finally agreed to play it. Anyway. For Dwayne future reference. I'm going to need you to. Maybe maybe it was Dwayne you. wants to play it. 
Well, that's probably because you talked to him about it, not me. You were in the room. You just don't listen to me when nope. I talk. There was no talking about it. We posted it on the story, remember? And Dwayne was like, what's that? <sighs> See? This one time. I'm talking about the previous times that mm-hmm. I've mentioned it, Sebastian. I don't think he Where would Where does asked. it go on your uh, shelves? I've never even looked over there. You I don't got think games he over asked. there? What's that? Yeah. Will you just admit that you're old age? You're forgetting things. <laughs> <laughs> no. I've never seen this game. So tell me about it. It's actually... Okay. So, one of my favorite things about this game is it's a very strategic game in which your actions, each action, every time you take an action, matters That's a lot. That's every board game ever. Okay, you got it. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so the this reason just why Kenzie your choices matter in board games. The reason why Kenzie hasn't been on the show <laughs> in a long string of episodes has nothing to do with this interaction at all. Um, do you actually want to do it or do you want me to? Come on. Come on. Tell me about it. I'll stop. I'll stop. I promise. You better quit. You better quit. You better better quit trying to be witty on the show. (laughs) (laughs) Did that hurt to get that out, baby? That's what she said. Okay. (laughs) All right. So it's a very strategic game. In which your action matters a lot because there are very few actions that you're going to get because the game ends rather quickly. It's a short game, um, which is probably why I like it so much. Um, yes. <laughs> Kenzie, a fan of the short game. It, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you guys are married. Uh, oh, is yeah. the. Uh, is, does it. <laughs> Will you put a. <laughs> but is, is, is the game uh, fixed ending or player determined ending? Player determined. Oh, uh, sorry, no, player count determined. What I'm saying is, and is actually, that like no, no. It, is, it is player determined. It, both. There's three rounds, yep. right? So at the end of the third round, which is player determined, the game ends. I, there's more rounds. There's rounds per depending player. on player. No, no, I get that. What I'm saying is, is that like you can't end the game early. No, you cannot force the game yeah. to end yeah. early. That's what I'm asking. That's, that to me, so you could so just end your for own the record, game. when so, I say like predetermined ending is like there's round structures. Like Kootenai. Like it will, yep, versus player determined, like you determine when the game is going to end by your actions. Yeah, so the way the game works is you... <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this. I don't know how to do this. I just read the box? No! I want to do it. Her brain is full of okay. smut. So no room for rules. <laughs> I mean, it is. It is. It is. Anyways, so you have your own player board where you have two sides, and those two sides matter because there are um, they're not goods, right? Resources. You're just gonna say they're resources. That's what they're called in the game. Okay, so they're resources. So you have the light side and the dark side, and your goal is to fill. What are they called? I don't know. I'm really bad at this. Okay. There you go. So I will explain the game. I'm going to let him mansplain it. Has got, she was so upset at me for trying to take it off of her hands. I'm bad at this. Now, here we are anyway. Heaven Now is essentially a worker placement mixed in with a rondelle game. It's not a worker placement. You have a guy that goes around a board. It's not a worker placement. Sure. Tile placement. Whatever. It's How about you look it up on BGG uh, and stop expecting me to be your your professor here, okay? Just kidding. I don't even think it's the... But basically what happens is you move your worker around the board and you can either stop at a resource spot workplace. to buy the resource or multiple if they are and if you can afford them. When you buy resources, you have to pay a certain amount of money to put them on your board. Depending on which side you place it on. Depending which on which side you put them on, matter. you have to pay more or less money. There is also a probably the main portion of the game is the scoring mechanism in that it is player determined and you can choose when to score certain things there is a limitation on the amount of scoring discs that are available in each round and they're limited to a certain type of scoring depending on where you stop around the board but when you stop on a scoring disc for example you could choose to score monks that are essentially just a different type of resource to activate in the game, or you can score a type of resource that you've put around the board. Depending on where you've put the resource, you will either get 
money from all of the resources on one side of the board. Not either. You will get both of these. You will get money for resources on one side of the board and um, production steps for that resource equal to the number that is on that resource for all of them on the other side of the board. After three rounds... Or you, however many rounds you have to determined by the player count. Determined by the players. You will basically want to have all of your different types of resources as even as possible on the production track. Mm, not necessarily even. Not necessarily, but that is what it's going to end up being anyway for your score. You want to have your brewmaster you as will, high up as you possibly can. Yes, there is a secondary effect that it will allow your little guy called the brewmaster on your board to move up the production track as well. The farther you get up the track, the more the multiplier for end game scoring will be and the better your trade-in values can be. For so for resources. example, if I make 20 hay at the end of the game, my brewmaster is, let's just say, all the way at the end of the track, I can trade Two each for resource one. one for one Oh. to spend a hay that's on 20 to move up my wood that's on five. Mm. Move it down to 19 to move up my water that's on five and try and essentially make them all as even as possible. And then you will multiply that score times wherever your brewmaster is, the, the lowest number. You have oh, achievements okay. that you've earned during the game through barrels plus leftover money. Yep. It's a great game. According to BGG, really it is not a worker placement. <laughs> there you go. I was incorrect. It is a Rondell game, though. It is a Rondell game. Okay. That makes sense. Um, good job, BGG. But yeah, it's a, it's, a good, it's a good game. It's a really tight game with money because... Or it can be at least if you're trying to, depending on what you're trying to do. But for me, I was able to maximize my starting money. I spent every single dollar of it so that the next turn I could maximize the production steps of the lowest starting marker on your board. And I was just able to do that, honestly, just because I was able to go first. And you can, if your other players just jump ahead but you miss out on everything else, right? So for so Kenzie, lost. for Kenzie strategically, it didn't make sense for her to jump up to try and steal something and then miss all the other side of the board, you know? Mm -hmm. So I did end up still losing, but <laughs> I had got I got the best score that I've ever gotten. Somehow Kenzie did not get the best score she has ever gotten and she still beat me, so. I think I got I only got 2 points under my best score ever though. Yeah, but no, it's a good game. And uh if you fell asleep during that uh <laughs> teaching, <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I promise I'm a lot more entertaining in person, and I will kick you to keep you awake. He's never actually done that. Oh, never. kick? I have. He's never kicked. No, you, not me. That's because you're asleep. Kenzie only kicks. <laughs> you don't understand what's going on. <laughs> Kenzie only kicks me. <laughs> That's because you snore. Anyway. All right. That was... A, I'll take that as my highlight of the week as well, having to know. It's been a long time since we played it, but it's a good game. And I've been asking to play it for a long time, even though well, Kevin we'll doesn't have to remember teach it his to old age. You. Yeah. Yeah. You've, li no, we've, I, nope, this has never, ever come up. It's never I, come I up. I would okay. remember something I, like this. The and the reason I would is because, like. I've never pulled it out. Not, I've yeah. literally just said, hey, let's play Heaven. It <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kevin, come on. We're not there yet. Well, we have to warm it up. <laughs> Only We're two. not there yet. Yes. Yeah. I've literally just said, hey, let's play uh, Heaven and Ale. No. I haven't explained the game. I haven't pulled it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. I, no, no. I don't See, know how else to say that. That's, it, you're, like, you're, no, because... It, this is why all, women can't play board games, okay? Because they go, wow, this piece is so hard. <laughs> this game is so hard. And everyone goes, that's what she said. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So I genuinely don't think so, because like... That's what so she said. It, mind you, it's been a minute since... Like, the last time we stared at this, like, your collection and, like, talked about which games we wanted to play, all of this was over there. Oh, right? that's so that, true. So, like, for context, it's been a minute. Yes, nope. we have not. I have Scavenger pointed Hunt. out. Heaven and Ale. Scavenger no. Hunt. No, I meant, like, that to, to the extent where I'm, like, we were, like, hey, like, what games do we want to play? Because, like, I remember, like, distinctly being, like, oh, yes, like, these are the ones that, you know, we wanted, you wanted to talk about playing and Oh yeah, I'm interested in this. I'm interested in this. I don't. I've never heard of this, and that wasn't one of them. Well, that means we need to do it again. Okay. We do need to play. The, I would love to play the game with you and Dwayne. I think it'll be really fun with four players fighting it. for the resources, especially. 
it's gonna make the it's it can be a very pokey game. Yeah. Um mm. which is not really Kenzie's favorite. But but regardless, that's our highlight. So let's move on to Kevin's highlight. Someone needs to beat me. I respect women too much. <laughs> <laughs> I just about to say. Oh, you do have it. Uh so my highlight of the game is, or the week is Nemesis. Really? Oh, you got to play? Yeah, we played last night. Or no. Today Thursday. Is Thursday. Yeah, Thursday night. Yeah. Um the uh, four of us. Um yeah. Uh survival game, right? It's the first time Again. you played it? No. When? No. No. Okay. It's been a hot minute though. Um it's been a while. It's like one of the one of the many games that got to the table a few years ago when I first got the game once or twice and then just had trouble getting it to the table again. It is a hard to get to the table. No yeah. matter how much you like it, it's hard to get a group for it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, not a co-op, which helps because you know how Dwayne feels about co-ops. Yep. Um, really? Same for me. Yeah. Yeah. I like that you can be like, nah, I'm doing my own thing. I fucking hate it. <laughs> Yeah. If you want to be on my team, be on my team from the beginning. Don't be a stupid ass backstabber in the middle. Yeah. Nah. I, it was interesting because off. So uh of the four of us, I never disclosed what I was doing. I wasn't explaining it to anybody. Um, Matthew was very open about like everything he was doing and every piece of information he had. And so it he turned was out being a good player. Yeah. Well, it also because his his uh his goal was just to get the the ship safely to Earth, I think. Um, oh, so he his okay. So he's very much proactive. Now it turned out that him, um, Isaiah, and I and him were all more or less could have worked together, but the problem was is that Dwayne was the one who um, we either could have been he had to and be been the happy, but no, we have to play <laughs> really mean, just bad game. Yeah, his objective that he picked was either I had to die or he had to be the <gasps> sole survivor, oh. which was like I don't know why you wouldn't. I mean, those two. Like, I and that is why yeah. I hate the game, because Sebastian would have just picked me to die. Yep, it's one of those things where you you pick up. Like, there's no defense forgot, that he can say right now. He just would have picked me. There's no, no, you don't. There's get the no pick. defense. You don't get to pick. Yeah, the player. it tells you. It tells you the player, and that's like I the know, player order number. But one. if he had the choice between me dying or him being the sole survivor, he well, would have picked me to thing. die. So that's the thing is, is like I don't. I'd have that's, to go back and read Dwayne's card because. Or maybe it was a different card that he had because it doesn't make sense why he, there must have been some other stipulation like be the only survivor and something else happens because why would you choose the harder of the two? Because in order yeah. to be the sole survivor, one, one you have person, to keep the other person has to die. No, because right? that's like just you surviving. That means everyone has to die. I know. Because you don't want witnesses. I know, but that's what I'm saying is, is that like let's say three of us were playing. And I had that card, and you had to die, or I had to be the sole survivor. In both of those cases, you die. That's yeah, true. But is it easier to play it off as, hey, like we're all gonna die? Let me let me go do this thing over here. Maybe I might not die. Maybe maybe this might happen. I don't think or, anyone cares at that point. This, like if they think they're gonna die. Not necessarily, because what if someone has an objective like? Just make sure that this thing happens. So we all, in order to, we, we looked this up because Matthew's uh, objective was like that the ship just had to make it to Earth. And we were, we were very curious. We're like, well, is he allowed to die and still win? But um, nah, you can't. No, no, you have to survive in order yeah. to win the game. So, interesting. Yeah, there's no, it'd be interesting the way to add it up, like to change things, but like call it like a, uh, like a heroic victory or whatever. Like you meet your objectives, but you don't survive. I would feel like a loser if I died anyway. Yeah. You know? Anyways. Yeah. Why is it your highlight? Oh, it's just a fun game. It's just uh, it's mm. it's it's a beautiful game. It's got uh, great board presence. Um, love, love the aliens. The, great the non-alien aliens. Yeah. I mean, it just is alien, right? Yeah. It's just that's all it is. It's it's so yeah. You don't like it? What don't you like it about? Well, like she doesn't like it. that there can Literally be hidden traders. She doesn't yeah. like there can be hidden traders. She doesn't like the. I think it's pretty. You're one hundred percent correct in yeah. the board presence is absolutely gorgeous. And I volunteer I it was between voluntarily and willingly. Oh. I Vol put them together. Blah, 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 blah. I voluntarily played it with Sebastian. Yeah. And I made him play co op with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean they do have a full co op version 
because yeah, they, I could they, not. They, it says it like if yeah. your if your group doesn't want to be backstabby or whatever. Yeah, no, they've got. I mean, they also have solo co-op cards, like a separate solo co-op deck. Mm-hmm. Did you guys use that, or did you use? Like, I think we used the co-op deck. I can't remember. Yeah, okay. It was a very long time ago. This is before we moved back I'm here. Almost, so. okay. I can almost guarantee we played with the specifically co-op only deck. Yeah, okay. we looked at each other's cards. I mean, because I, I couldn't take it. I mean, so you just don't like betrayal games? Nope. She doesn't like betrayal games, and she doesn't like an active other in a game where, like, monsters, something coming for you. No, I don't mind that. I literally just don't like it when, if we're working together. This is why I couldn't play Clock Tower. Oh, yeah, because you don't want to be. If we're working together, be realistic. Like, work with me, and let's get to a common goal. you don't know if that person is working with you is the thing. So you just don't like And I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. That's fair. Look, I, I get it. I think there's something about, like, that person's like, of course. Trust. Let's help each other. I and got you. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. Well, also just like when you like that that moment, like that that moment where you realize that somebody can can lie to you, and do be good at it, and, and you're like, and oh my gosh, oh my god, I think they are. And then and then you mm-hmm. you have a relationship with this person in real life, and then you begin to wonder. Wait a minute. What else are they? Like? Why are they so good at gaslighting? <laughs> yeah, I can. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I'm not very good at reading people either. Well, I'm not so good at social deduction. That's what games. people who are good at reading people say so that they are not found out. Well, I lost. Nemesis. I got. No. I got. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got murdered. Not by Dwayne. Dwayne tried, but it didn't matter. I got I got uh The Queen. No, the Queen did not show up in my area, but um I was engaged in combat and couldn't do anything about it and had already had serious wounds and tried oh. the car. Mm. The, the, the so your guy was, just got slowly wrecked. I was doing pretty good for the first like 90 percent of the game and then it kind of it kind of fell apart at the end um yeah just like no wounds doing okay and then got a serious wound and then like actually took care of that serious wound a little bit like got it dressed and then um but it still stays and counts as a serious yeah. wound um and then i got another one and then it's a three and you're out it's three and you're out and i think i no, it's three and then any other damage and you're out. And then I think with the two that I had, no, I had three. That's right. I did have three, but I had no other damage. I was doing okay. And then I just turned over a card that was like, look, if you have any, if you don't have this many, you take one. If you have more than this, you die. Ugh. And it's just like, Bop. all right. Yep. Ugh, what a way to go out. Yep. But Dwayne did win. You shit yourself and, and die. Of course so he did. did Isaiah. They both won, oh. met their objectives. Matthew and I lost. Individually? Yep. They both had the... Yep, because well, because again, because he didn't have to, Dwayne didn't have to kill anyone else. I just I had to die. You had to die, yeah. yeah. And uh, I think Isaiah ran away with a body, <laughs> like the starting body. Oh, like, yeah. And got into a pod. It's like uh, the corporation just wants to re- to research something like. Bring I think back this was evidence. actually a personal goal because it was something like uh, like fallen comrade or something like that, where like the because it was the body that you start in the yeah. game with. Yeah. Um and um. Yeah, he got out, but uh, I do take. I guess just, I should take partial credit for it because I unlocked no. the escape pods for him. And you unlocked can take that. that you know, that just means yeah. you're a sucker and it you is. let them win. Because he was off in the corner and I was nowhere near it. And I was like, I totally misunderstood. I thought you unlocked all the pods, and I didn't realize you only unlocked oh, yeah. one no, pod. One at a time. And I was like, oh god, I don't, I can't, because like there were uh, aliens like all over the place, and I Nemesai. Like, they're intruders. I think they're called oh, intruders. Oh, they are called yeah. intruders. There was intruders near me, and I'd like fight them off to get them like off of that. Because no one was helping you. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Because they were doing suck. their own thing. Uh, yeah. Actually, that's not true. Again, so I give I mean, Matthew tried really hard. Matthew and, and Isaiah were killing monsters pretty well. So, yeah. It's a fun Dwayne. game. We should play that. I enjoy it. I'm it probably going to take that to Black Potion. Yep. I, if uh, you are watching this and want to play Nemesis, leave a comment and we'll set something up. Yep. Black Potion. Minus, with me. minus Kenzie. <laughs> so I wonder, actually, it's a good question. I because I've never played Lockdown. Me neither. I have. Yes, you have. Not Lockdown. Lockdown's the second one. Didn't you play it with Adams? No. 
Okay, so the one I'm more interested in is is the new one, Retaliation, because I can't imagine there's betrayal in that one. Um, I honestly, I've only seen the cover. I've never seen any of. Honestly, I didn't pay attention to the Kickstarter campaign or yeah. the GameFound campaign at all because I was like, well, I'm, I'm just all in. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, you just saw Awakened Realms. Well, they, 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 they took, like, when they released the information for the game, um, or, like, early on before the, the, the GameFound campaign started, they're like, oh, yeah, like, we're going to downsize the all of the figures because it's, it's supposed to be, they're like, you know, you're, you're going to the alien's planet and you're going to go fuck them up. That's kind of so, cool. So the idea is, is that like you're like a fully powered up like squad of like space marine type people or whatever. Hell divers. You're going there. Yeah, basically. Um, or, you know, any other of the. No, it's hell divers. That, you've you been know, such a hater. It. You've been such a hater about <laughs> hell divers. And now you're like, I yeah. can't wait to play hell divers, the board game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's because it's aliens. There's aliens in hell divers. No, man. They're like Movie crab aliens. Crab aliens. <laughs> uh, Starship Troopers. Um, at any rate. Um, but yeah, so like you're going, and because of that, it's like much more swarmy. And uh, they, they were going to reduce... Swarm, swarm, They were going to reduce the size <laughs> of all the miniatures so they could put more of them on the board at a given time. Zombie so cool. Making everything bigger. And I'm like, there are a lot of people, myself included, who are like, please don't do that. Like, A... Your awakened realms, and half the reason we like you is because you make really pretty, pretty miniatures. And pretty if you make them, toys. yeah, you make a pretty miniature toys. You yeah, made pretty, very pretty. You made pretty mini. <laughs> and like, if you make them smaller, it's just gonna be annoying. Um, and B, like, I don't want this game to become Can zombicide. Imagine. I was gonna. That's why I just you didn't hear me say zombie side. Oh no, zombie um, I couldn't even. Be- <laughs> make them on my speech impediment. <laughs> I can't even grab a small mini. Look at my fingers. Yeah, right? Look at that. I got broken <laughs> fingers. Dinosaur claws. Too much room. I can't even grab. I can't, <laughs> grip, I can't grip the minis. Yeah. So at any rate, they, they when they actually launched the campaign, they were like, yep, we're just kidding. We're full size. Um, the other thing was an issue of backwards compatibility. So there would be no compatibility between one and two and three yeah. if they made them smaller. And people were like, well, you know, that's not really the point. And I'm like, no, it, it I mean, like, you've got you all care this about content. That? Like, I do. Hmm. I do want to be able to. And 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 again, like, I, whether they came up with it on their own or listened to, to feedback, but one of the comments that I had made was like, look, like, I get, I get that you're talking about, like, trained Marines or, or, like, soldiers going in and, like, killing the bugs. But, like, if you had survivors from this, like... And you were gonna go do this thing. Who would you want with you, right? An Mr. expert, Chief. right? Somebody who knew, right? <laughs> so the idea that somebody, a character from the first two games, survives and goes <gasps> with the girl, right, on the next you know campaign, like Ripley. No, the girl. She's got like a purple suit. Oh, the pilot. Is that who she is? I, no, Scout. She's a Scout. Coolest character. Yeah. Um, but yeah, any of them, like any character, like that you you conceptually say, hey, like they survived the first game or the second game or both or whatever it is, and then like, hey, you're gonna go provide like the expertise. And again, they're not just like trapped on it. Like now, you're gonna they're gonna be fully armed and armored and ready to go. And they've they've killed these guys before. You're Makes prepared. perfect sense. Yep. So, all that to say, they fixed the problems. So it was an <laughs> auto back <laughs> for me, and I don't. Remember if there's a betrayal mechanism in it. That was the whole hey, point. Kev. So Kevin, that entire diatribe. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta get this thought out. Hey Kev. No. Are you a board game Karen? What does that mean? In context, what does that mean? Like, what you just said, in like smaller terms, is yeah. You saw something you didn't like. Yeah. So you made some comments yep. on a thread. Yeah. And now it is what you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> You're really happy about it. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, That's yeah. crazy coming from you. Coming from me? I guess. I guess. I mean. Nitpicking the nitpicker? <laughs> I don't know. Isn't that 90% of the reason you do crowdfunding so you can have user-generated feedback? No, I do crowdfunding because I like things that people make. 
No, know, we do crowdfunding like, because we have ridiculously bad FOMO. Yes, yeah, that, that too. too. What I'm saying is, is that isn't part of the reason that like people make like campaigns and do crowdfunding. And obviously it's because they want access to like people's money ahead of time, but like they get to be a part. I don't, I, I don't was, think the big companies just, care about that part of it. I, I disagree. Just asking if I you disagree. are uh, seeing that connection. Kev, I don't. Of, I also don't comment very often. Very, very. <laughs> Did you just wow. Boisterous. That was. <laughs> have like a full-blown yeah moment to that or was that just you moving no that was i felt like that was a moment was it a moment very it looked right like now. a very much so of like yeah right kev yeah <laughs> that's why i laughed so hard i wish there was a way on kickstarter to be like these are all the comments i've made oh i wish we could look at that i wish we could see exactly what you were commenting i, I bet there's less than a dozen total across all platforms Game are you the person back, that back comments can't wait for this no. in the second day of the campaign, knowing you're going to have to wait three years for it. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. If you do that, hats off to you for having enthusiasm <laughs> this far in life. I think it's usually mostly just like questions. Like if something's not clear in the campaign. So like I remember um, farm animals. Um, Agricola. Not Agricola. What um, the fuck? Agricola? Uh, farms race. The oh the nuke game that the, got canceled because it was using too many other games it didn't get stuff for promos at all it got put on hold okay Karen because I you know what <laughs> here's the thing and I get it right so it was it was it was Stone Mayor the, um, the promo thing the promo thing with yeah. uh, they made a drone strike bird yeah you didn't hear about this I have no idea what you're talking about so there's this game uh, I can't remember who, the, who made it but it's called Farms Race and it's basically Settlers of Catan, but nukes, nukes in like war, but like it's not friendly. Like oh, there's a robber. It's like yeah. <laughs> it's a little. It was a little bit of like oh, there's a robber. The whole think point. of like Catan made by Cards Against Humanity, folks. Yeah, it it was very much like the whole like they put it in the campaign. They're like, look, this is a like an attack against like peaceful like Euro games, like. It was very much that, but it looked really interesting. It looked like it was actually like a solid game. So, um, <laughs> the the controversy was is because they did some promos, and the problem this is I understand, and like I I don't think I ever heard anything from like Stone Mayor Games. Uh, I don't think they ever put anything out on it. Okay, Stone Mayor. Stone Mayor. <laughs> um, Stone Mayor. They. <laughs> So the problem was is that the company that was making Farms Race was going to make promo packs with cards for other games. Yeah, for a so bunch like of you were literally supposed to insert games that you would get or cards from this game into other games. Weird. And one of the the one for Wingspan was a drone, like a like a predator, it was like a predator drone. missile drone. And it was In like the format its ability of a was card. like yeah, to oh, like conduct like a no, 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 no. Exactly. You have to get that cleared through other companies. Well, they didn't. They didn't, right? Oh. No, no. So they. So there's there's um, what's it called? Um, when you uh, parody, parody, no, parody law, <laughs> parody law gives you a lot of latitude. Um, but obviously there's always like a certain space where people can hold you up and in court and like the legal system, and it yeah. just becomes not worth it. Um, and that's what they ended up doing. They said, look, it's just not worth it. Um, but, um, the point, the point of the story was, is that like, I commented, I was like, Hey, this game looks like it has the potential for, uh, players to be Great. eliminated yes. and like the game to continue. Oh, right. Which is not something I enjoy, despite the fact that Nemesis actually has that. Um, and so I asked in the thing, I was like, hey, like, how often does this happen? And they're like, it does. It's possible, but it's pretty rare. For playtest, like, play, like during playtest. A testing. player will be eliminated at, a, like, at any point in the game, period, um, let alone, like, with enough time left for that player to be like, well, I guess I'm going to go, you know, do something else. Tapestry. <laughs> I love tapestry. I think there was something. I think I did see something from Stonemeyer, or maybe it was just someone, like, assuming... But something about how because they posted that they have to they can't do it right yeah um, 
And then I think someone, I don't remember if it was Stomire directly or just some random person, but what they were like, that it's against the spirit of Wingspan. Yeah, 100%. And so they would not approve. Yeah. That they don't approve of that, of that being parodied, even if they had asked for permission. Yeah, absolutely. I, and I, I know this wasn't the point of this, this part of the conversation, but like for that, like I don't blame them at all. Like if they had taken something conceptually from like Wingspan and like other Euro games and put it in their game, I would have been like, yeah, that's fine. Right. But the idea that like you are literally going to take a card like a violent card. And they were just using advertising from other games to get their game to sell. Well, that was another thing as a lot yeah, of people thought that they're just using the popularity of all these other yeah, games. That's all they were building doing. Building one thing off of that so that people will back because, yeah. oh, I want every single yeah. thing from Wingspan 100%. or whatever other game. Oh, they didn't. Yeah. And they did not do well. Like there was too much. There was too much I backlash. They, I think they maybe pulled like somewhere between 100 and 200 K. It was a pretty small campaign, all things considered. So, mm. at any rate, yeah. Speaking of games on the internet, how do we feel about online plays? Oh, we're not doing the other thing in the middle. I lied. We're gonna do trivia, <laughs> and what Kevin says by the thing in the middle, he means of his mind in the front of his four thoughts of his forehead. All right, and that is trivia. And so we're gonna do trivia. Hey, I've never boards. done trivia. Hosted by Kevin. And Where? played by me and Kenzie, Where are the boards? husband and wife, for now. We don't have boards. They're over here. I got them. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and for the rest of today, until Kenzie can find a lawyer. Format for Kenzie. Trivia is three questions. Last one will be whoever gets the closest. So we got a tiebreaker. Last one is always I'm really uh, bad at the trivia, closest. guys. Well, these first two are so freaking easy that I bet. Please don't say that. You're setting me up to get so freaking. Well, mm-hmm. the first one is an either or question. So easy peas. You got a 50, yes, 50. Stop. Chance. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go. Burgundy. What came first? The color or the region? <laughs> Burgundy. What is? What is fourteen twenty five? Burgundy. Burgundy's a region. Oh my god! <laughs> I think you're thinking too high up. The castles of yeah Burgundy. I didn't know that that was a place. <laughs> oh man! Well, it's still a fifty fifty. You just got to say color or region. I'm getting these all wrong, guys. Well, Kevin's going to make me feel so stupid. We ready? Yeah. This is a chicken or the got. egg thing. Yep. And I chose the egg. Okay. What do we got? The place. And I can't say it. The re- yes, the sorry. Place. You, you are correct. It is the region. Sebastian's wrong. He put place. Well, they're both correct. No, he put place. That's, it was region. The place is a region. A region's a place. I'm giving it to him. I'm sorry. Yeah. So the cheater, region, cheater uh, the color. The, the, the term uh, Burgundy came into use as a color in the 1800s when wine from the region of Burgundy became popular in England. Yeah. That's actually really cool. Red yep. wine. Yep. Learn something new every day. Like Burgundy's a place. It's a Burgundy wine. <laughs> Speaking of places, the Fox experiment is based on an actual experiment conducted in what now non-existent country? Damn, now non-existent? Come on, history. No, Kev. The Fox experiment occurred in, I'll give you a clue. No. 1958. No. Come on. I'm only 28. (laughs) There's an eight in that. 58, 28. Uh. Kenzie's writing France. <laughs> France doesn't exist the Fra- anymore. The Fra- I don't know the if you The French guys haven't know this. surrendered that hard. <laughs> All right, what's your answer? The Soviet Union. And your right. answer. I'm not going to answer until you. Transylvania. Transylvania. <laughs> also, still a real place. Yes. Wait, is it really? Yep. Yes. 
The correct there answer is the legal. Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Yes, the Soviet Union is correct. Yeah. Yep. Transylvania does, in fact, still house vampires. So if you're ever on a trip there, don't go outside without garlic. Yeah. And also... You know, that actually makes sense with the Fox experiment, like the game itself. Yeah. It makes sense. Does it? All the freaking foxes are named like Soviet names. Boyka. Yeah. Russian names, the I should say. USSR. <coughs> All right. Well, uh, I, I mean, I guess technically... So I have to get this wrong, or Kenzie has to get this to go if to she, a tie break, oh, yeah, which I is just know. this question. Yeah, exactly. The so if you so if you get this question, you win. No. If you get it, no. Yes, it is. I mean, well, that's actually a good question. Don't we usually count it as a tiebreaker? Well, oh, we did a second. It's not one a tiebreaker because you're winning. Yeah. If I don't get if it, if you get it and you get it closer to the answer. Then that's a point for you, not me. It's a point for him. Yeah, then we you. would be tied. Exactly. So it's not really a tiebreaker. Um, I hope you got. A, I hope you got another question. Oh. I might throw this on purpose. Yeah, I don't know. Oh All right. God. This Let's is go. another one of those I'm base so game questions. Trivia. Yeah. So uh, how you did good many with the region. Different birds oh are there God. in the base game of Wingspan? How many different birds? Yep. Closest to but not over, right? I don't give a shit. You can go over. This isn't Jeopardy. Just closest in general? No, she's scared. Or not Jeopardy. Uh, the price is right. Fuck, the price is wrong. I hope you're at 69 on there. <laughs> Are you good? You Did you want to change it? 179. 179. 158. Oh. The answer is 170. Ah, oh, you mofo! Let's go. Also, if you add the Swift Strutter pack. That's why I said over. You shouldn't be able to go over. I nah. told you you could go over. But you shouldn't be able to go you over. You should be able to go over because this is the real world and that the stupid fucking rule it that is the a Price dumb is rule. Right came it up with. It is a dumb rule. Because well, then, why is that a dumb rule? Because then you get if the... If you go over, then shit explodes. No, then you get the people who... Birds explode? <laughs> <laughs> if you feed them rice. <gasps> the drones? Uh, they're fighting back. No, but that leads to the whole, I'm going to just guess one <laughs> above them because no. I happen to be second. No, because if you go over, then you lose. I don't. It's a, it's perfectly fine for the prices, right? But in the rest of the world, it's a dumb thing. Yeah, no. closer is closer. Yeah. No, yep. I disagree. Well, so I win. I remain undefeated. I think I am like 5-0 and or 6-0. and Comment. Is Comment if you think Kenzie is right and you should not be able to go over or if you know the truth of things and it's totally fine. Also like this video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. We're going to move on to our next section. <laughs> From playing games on these little boards to playing games on motherboards, we're going to talk about online Good transition. plays yeah. and how we feel about them. Well, the question... The origin of the question is, do online plays count for your play count? Personally, oh. no. As someone who enjoys playing games online, I play semi-frequently, probably about as frequently as I play games in real life, and I do not count them. I, I think if it's a majority of your plays, then you should count them. See, I think it, it depends on the amount that you spend playing online. See, I feel like... I'm basically playing almost solo because unless you're playing online with like people, you what know, if you didn't have anyone to play with. Go and find some friends. What I, if you if live I, in Siberia? If I played a game solo, I would not count it. I just wouldn't count it. Why not? Because I don't know. For me, the experience of playing a game and potentially winning or losing is doing that against other players exactly if you play online you're playing players. with other players it may as well be solo you oh. don't say a single word to anyone you just wait for your turn do your thing but you still have other minds turn. making different plays within i don't the know thing. you're not playing against ai if you're playing against ai sure but you're playing against other players i, I agree with you when you play one game online 
like Obsession, for example, takes 25 minutes to play an entire game of Obsession. I agree. You Should you count every single play that you play of Obsession? No. But. You count one or you count none of them. And I count none. Okay. Well, there's no do you changing count? his mind. Game over. All done. Do you count? <laughs> we don't need to discuss it anymore. Do you count all of them? There's or do no you count discussing. None? Here's a question. I think it depends person to person. Here's a question to follow up. Why do you record your plays? Just in general? Yeah. I just like seeing the stats. Okay. Which I think, I no. think it also helps me visualize how many times I've physically sat down and played my games. Oh, funny how you say physically right there. Okay. Funny. But you don't funny? normally say physically. No, but this adds no. essential like context. Like sitting with people and oh, right? pulling out. Oh, funny how you're just explaining that now that we're talking about online plays. Kenzie just learned how conversations work. <laughs> <laughs> but essential context, right? If the reason that you, part of the reason that you record your games, especially if you're also recording score. I don't go that far. I don't record scores. Because um, he loses everything. <laughs> I was going to say it. Oh, shit. You've won more than me probably the time I you played I was together. like, there's some white meeples over there. White um, representing board. our friend here. <laughs> hey, look, I'm more colorful than you are. That's true. Um, I don't have colors. He does have more colors than me. Yeah, I am objectively more colorful than he is. Anyway, next. At any rate, as I was saying, um, like understanding anyway. like why you do a thing, right? Anyway. Makes a re like it, it helps rationalize. Now for me, the difference is I would count my plays and maybe not record them on like BGG, but like if you ask me like, hey, how many times do you play this game? It'd be like dozens. And the reason being is that like, is there a game, for instance, that you've never played in like a physical copy of, but you played the board game version of it digitally many times? No. Mm. Most of no. the ones I've played online, I play because I've already played them in yeah. a physical copy. All right. So try to imagine a scenario where, like, you've played a game online multiple times because you just don't own a copy or whatever. Um, and then somebody's like, hey, have you ever played this game before? You wouldn't say no. Right? Sure. And if they've never played the game, when you're sitting down, you would have a marked advantage from experience because you've experienced the game multiple times. But it doesn't sure. count. I think I'm not saying physically play. I'm not saying it doesn't count as you play. It doesn't count as you playing. I just wouldn't track it on my tracker. Okay. Because I have I don't care about those plays where it's nobody involved. Mm -hmm. So if you're a person that plays primarily online. You're useless. <laughs> just kidding. If you're playing online and, and you know all these people. We just beep, 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 shit on. If you primarily so play online people. because that's your only way to play and you track your games. That's just your like personal perspective of how you play games and how you're able to enjoy a game. For me, I get the most enjoyment and the most like out of an experience of playing a game when I'm sitting down with other people and playing. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I just think that you're a jerk. That's totally fine. You married me, so <laughs> what does that say about you? Who's more foolish? The fool or the fool who follows him? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> lovely conversation that had oh. no vitriol, you know. I don't think anybody missed me. Yeah, it's good having the having the, the married couple back on the cast. Oh. Is, yeah. it, is it us that they missed or is it me and you, Kev? <laughs> <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video <laughs> and you want to see potentially more episodes that may or may not include Kenzie, then go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below. Uh, let us know Tell how you felt about. Tell me the GTF out. Let us know how you felt about the episode. And um, if you don't comment, she's never coming back. Oh God. We need at least one comment, <laughs> or else Kenzie will never return. I'm gonna go back. No, you can't. <laughs> nope. No self comments. I'm gonna make a fake some a, random, some, make a fake account. Some random, <laughs> com, some random account Allison that's do it. twelve hours old is gonna be like, "Wow, Mackenzie <laughs> is the best person ever. She is so funny and smart and awesome." 
Yeah. I would love to see her every single week. Mm-hmm. And you can on the Spicy Book Nick podcast. So go ahead and check that out as well. And we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.